In question 3, we should write down the domain of the inverse of f. Okay. The domain is what may I do. In other words, what may I put in to the inverse of f. Now you can see here, that means it's the x variable. What is What am I allowed to substitute for x? So x, okay. Now the next question is, what am I allowed to put in for x? Well, we know that for a logarithmic expression, the interior, that inside, must be larger than 0. In other words, we have the expression x, because that's what's on the interior, must be larger than 0. Which I can just go and express now. x must be larger than 0.